Hi there, welcome back to Toadstool Tarot. I'm kind of excited because a couple really nice decks came in the mail today. Yes, I'm back to ordering again. Made it almost through March, but in the last week or so I've accumulated a few things. Ordered a few more. But it's a good week. I'm going to try to space these out, these little treasures, and not show too many at once so I can stretch them into March. We'll see what happens. Um, but I didn't want to wait too long on this one. I'm not sure. It's I think it's pretty new on Amazon. I don't know how long it will be available. Could be forever. Could just vanish overnight. You never know. It's the tarot deck doesn't say much. It's called Tarot Deck with Original Artwork by Pamela Coleman Smith. Now, what drew me to this, besides the box, <laughs> I really love that Lem Lemniscuit Ouroboros box, um, is that these are, this is yet another uh, Rider Waite Smith deck with Pixie's drawings. This one has no copyright, and the original font, which is nice. The coloration is a little different, but I like it. I love the box. The box, I've showed you about three times now already. There's a, it's sort of embossed here around this little snake, which is kind of neat. It's just a tuck box, but... Um, it's hard to identify this since it's just called Tarot Deck. I think on Amazon it says tarot deck with original artwork by Pamela Coleman Smith. All that is spelled out. But that's still not a handy name for the deck. I'll just show you the, the various panels on the box. There if you want to uh, grab some info. Can I hold it still enough for you? Um, I will try to put a link below to the website. I looked it up, and it's a company, uh, it's a made in China. The company is Miryan, M-I-R-I-Y-A-N, 2019 it came out. And um, there's quite a bit of information on that page. So I'm uh, probably going to call it the Miryan Tarot Deck. But I might also affectionately name it the Sun Tanned Tarot Deck because the coloration, a lot of people complain about the yellows being too bright on Pixie's deck. In this one, it looks like everybody's been hanging out on the beach in Florida and been slathered in suntan lotion. And I really like the coloration of the skin tones and everything is washed and bathed in that kind of like tannish color. It's kind of like a New York City taxi cab yellow that almost approaches orange but not quite there. Now there is no booklet in the uh, box. It does come with these two little cards and one of them is a thank you for your purchase. Thank you so much for your purchase. As a small family business, we believe it's important to give back to the community and as such, donate a portion from each sale to local charities. With your purchase, you have already, you have directly contributed, so thank you again. They don't tell you what the charities are. We want to make you happy. If the product was damaged in transport, or not perfect in any way, please contact the amazing Megan at support at miriyan.com. In your a email, be sure to send a photo of the damage so we can take care of it immediately. By way of an apology, keep the existing product and don't worry about sending it back to Amazon. I got it on Amazon. It's about 18 something. Now on the other side, Terra meaning and instruction, 
the meaning of tarot are open to interpretation by the reader and the individual receiving the reading. To help you on your journey, we've created an exclusive online resource. Here you'll find written and video instructions to help you understand the cards and demonstrate typical spreads and layouts. Use the QR code below for access. This is going to be a new thing, I think. Open the camera on your phone. Point your camera <coughs> at the QR code. Tap on the notification that appears. You can see the little code there. Then the other card, which also has a QR code on it. I don't know if it's the same QR code. Looks like it might be different. Can't tell. A small favor. Do you love your tarot deck or have any ideas on how we could improve it? We'd love you to share your experience with other shoppers on Amazon. Visit Amazon.com slash RYP and leave us an honest review. Be sure to include a picture or video of the cards so that others can see them in action. Do you want this deck for free? Each month we draw one lucky person to win their tarot deck for free. We will refund your purchase. To enter, scan the QR code below or visit. Well, so I guess you have to buy one to scan one to get entered in the free drawing. Um, they do have a, uh, probably more accurate than you're going to see from me, uh, if you go to the website, which I'll include in the comments, I think it's Marianne.com, they have a um, um, a lot of information. I don't think there's a video there, but they do have a card-by-card -card close-up shot of all the cards, or most of the cards. And um, you can see where some of the issues might be that might not pick up here. Now, these are linen cards. They're really flexible, and some might say flimsy. A lot of people like thick cards. I'm not that keen on thick cards. I'm happy with these. They seem sturdy enough, and ripple shufflers will probably love them. They're very, very flexible. I think I'd say they're about the same weight as two other linen finish decks that I have. One is the Siren Imports one. The other, I think, is the John Waterhouse Oracle, and I'd say this, this is probably comparable. So these are the back designs. It's a dark navy blue to black, and the uh, the other color is sort of a beige. I don't know. Now the color on the front, I really like these. The uh, bands at the bottom that have Pixie's font are not white. They're sort of a, a, a kind of a golden tan yellow. And you can see, hopefully, in the color on these cards, like the sky, that uh, these are not bright yellows. They're tan. Um, the definition on or detail in the line work is pretty good. I've compared it to some other decks I have, and it seems good. I think it's probably better than the, the, the study deck that I have, uh, which uh, I think the colors on that are a little on the dark side. This is brighter. And um, I forgot what I was going to say. Here's the Magician. Oh, these have a bit of a uh, kind of a, I don't want to say blush, <laughs> almost sunburn. I don't know if you can see on his cheeks there. Wouldn't call it the these the blushing fool kind of thing, but they do have a bit of a, some of them have a bit of a sunburn to them. Still, I like the colors in these much better than, than the coloring in the Siren Imports uh, deck. And you'll see as we go through, I think, um, as nice as these hues are in general, the whole card seems to have a tanned cast to it. It's not much blue in this one. It's a little harder to make out the, the waterfall. It's kind of more like green water than blue. But uh, you might ask yourself, how many, how many pixie decks do I need? But when I saw this one, I mean, for me, I like 
uh, if it's not too expensive, it doesn't have a copyright date on it, and the coloration is nice, and maybe the definition is sharp, I'm constantly on that lookout for the holy grail, so to speak, of uh, Pamela Coleman Smith decks. And um, I, I quite like this one. Now some of the, when I get to the cards, I'll show you, some of them, uh, the skies are a little bit mottled and, and washed out. And some people might say, oh, that's a misprint. There's too much white showing through. I'm not sure if it's a misprint or if it's something they in, intended. But um, I guess you'll have to decide on your own. And if they don't show up here, uh, you'll you'll be able to judge a little better on their website photos. Okay, here's one. The death card. I don't know if you can see the sky there. It's kind of like, there's some like patchy kind of white areas here. But it's not like there's, it's lacking ink. It's almost like they tried to give it a more atmospheric sky effect. I don't know. You be the judge. I'm, you know, I'm, I have other decks whose back designs I like better than these, but I don't find them offensive. But I, I do like it when they don't put copyrights. And, you know, it's hard to find ones with good definition that have Pixie's font on there. So, if you like the coloration of these cards, you might enjoy this deck. I, I like the Siren Imports, one that was popular with people, but some of the coloration on that is a little bit weird. The, uh, the skin is sort of pasty and the reds are kind of uh, garish or I don't know. There's something about the coloration in that one I don't like. I actually like this one. It has a kind of a warm soothing tan feel and I'm really generally not big on tans or hanging out in the sun or going to the beach that kind of thing I do love a good taxi cab yellow though So I think what it comes down to is for $18 and change and shipping, you have a, a linen deck with no copyright and Pixie's font. And uh, it seems to me like the detail's pretty good. Uh, there were a couple of cards that were, were not the sharpest. I think is it the king of... Um, uh, I can find it. I don't think we've hit it yet. One of the kings. Remember if it's the king of wands or the king of pentacles. Is a little on the dark side. No, we haven't got there yet. I'll try to remember and point it out when we do. There's a again sort of patchy sky. It's like hmm? I don't know. If there's any reservation at all with the deck, that might be it for you. Or the back design. Oh actually some of the facial expressions seem ever so slightly subtly different. There again the sky is a little mottled. At first glance, I didn't like it, but actually, it doesn't bother me. I'm getting used to it. I think it's it's all in all a pretty good deck. 
I thought I saw a review and some on Amazon and somebody had complained that their their corners were damaged or something. My copy is flawless. I don't have any issues with it. Perfectly cleanly cut. I'm going to try and speed up a little bit. This shouldn't be an overly long walkthrough. Since uh, many of you, most of you, are familiar with the artwork in the deck, and it's merely a matter of line definition and coloration. What did I do? Did I just go backwards? Looks like I did. I seem to be going backwards through the deck. Well, you'll have to excuse that. I think I still might prefer the AGM Tarot of AE Weight to this um, just because of the cracklebacks and I like the feel of the cards. The drawback there is that they don't have Pixies font on them, which isn't that important to me. It's important to a lot of people, apparently. Ah. Here's the card. Now this one isn't as sharp as some that I've seen. Uh, you'll have to gauge how important it is to you about this particular card. I'd say of all the cards in the deck, this might be problematic in the detail. I've seen worse. Here's the other one that people look at for detail. It doesn't seem too bad to me. So, what do you think? And there you have it. The tarot deck with original artwork by Pamela Coleman Smith from Mirian. So, um, I'm curious to see what you have to say about this.